hey guys, I made it to London and um, I'm going to Beautycon today and I'm waiting for my friend Atasa to arrive so we can go to Beautycon and I'm very excited So hey guys, um, that was a very very busy day and um, Beautycon wasn't really what we expected of it but uh, it was fun uh, either way and um, yeah when I get home I will do my unboxing of my goodie bag and the stuff that I got there and um, yeah tell you a bit more about it and um, I went there with Atessa. <laughs> say hi guys, say bye! bye. <laughs> So I'll talk to you when I get home. So I'm back home now and um, let's talk about the experience of Beautycon itself and what was in my goodie bag. Um, well first I would like to start off with saying that in my opinion um, Beautycon has a lot of uh, improvement uh, to make but uh, apparently um, the previous uh, events or, or beauty cons or whatever were even like even worse organized so there is improvement in it and um, I think that in maybe one or two years like Beautycon is a fantastic event to go to but right now um, it's new so um, you know there is going to be some faults to it but um, but for a few reasons uh, I did enjoy Beautycon and like my number one reason was to finally be able to meet Carissa since we talked about it before and we finally got a chance to meet and of course the goodie bag was nice and uh, there was benefit, there was Tarte uh, and you could purchase items from them as well and um, you know Tarte is a bit harder for me to get so I was very excited about that and I bought some stuff of course and um, yeah overall like going to an event like uh, a beauty con I don't know I just like to go there but I can understand that some people won't because it was very crowded a uh, very crowded and like the the boots of uh, NYX or NYX and uh, Benefit etc they were very small stand in line for so long to like to tweet something and receive like one free product so that's not really worth it in my opinion so um, you know there's improvement to do but overall I did enjoy it myself and I met my friend Atessa from Germany and yeah we had a lovely day as you could see in the footage so on to the goodie bag so the first thing that I got was this shirt that I'm wearing and let me stand up it has the beauty con logo ooh boobies <laughs> and um, I actually got another shirt and I have it right here anything but basic and just nails I don't know just nice shirts there are a little bit shorter than I would wish so maybe I end up wearing them in videos where you can only see this part of me or like um, as a pajama or something and this was actually the goodie bag it says Beautycon London and Beautycon as well and like the little details they use this uh, as very large stickers uh, throughout Beautycon and you could take pictures in front of one of those walls with stickers with all this design so you know they did they really did the graphic design right and I like graphic design so that's a huge plus 
Okay, I'll first start with like the free stuff and then like the stuff that I bought. Well, the free stuff is probably not free because I paid for my pro ticket. So um, a lot of benefit stuff. I'll start off with the benefit stuff. And um, I got three different samples, uh, two of the Dare Real Mascara and one of the Roller Lash. So I have not tried this before, so I'm pretty excited for these. And they also included a remover for the their real mascara, but I um, I already tried tried it yesterday, and uh, my normal remover can get it off as well. So I don't know what's up with the remover. And and I just noticed that you can see my boyfriend over there. He's playing PlayStation. So um, if you see him jumping very wildly up and down, he probably is losing his game. So. <laughs> And then I got another benefit sample and this is the Puff Off gel thingy. Very excited to try this one as well. And then I got a cute sample of their eye cream and this is a very cute little jar. And I think even though that this is a sample it will last me quite some time. Just look, it's cute. I like benefit. Benefit probably is my favorite brand out of every brand since the packaging oh i'm such a sucker for packaging okay on to the next product it's handy to do like the free product first and then the products i paid for because i also purchased this benefit gimme brow one and since we are in the benefit thing i just included here i purchased the gimme brow and i'm in the color light to medium and I'm wearing it today and I really like it. The, the brush is very tiny and it's just it's just a very cute and nice brow gel. And then when I saw this item I was a very excited and this one is also by Benefit and um, it's a mirror. Just look how stunning the, the print is and you just flip it open. Oh you are going to see yourself hey there you are you can see my ring light and my camera and uh, the benefit logo is down and there and you can you know place it as far as you want and it's very sturdy and the material feels very um, expensive so i think this mirror is going to last me a while i'm so happy with this one and so thoughtful of benefit to include this in the goodie bag okay next on to the stuff i got from tarte and um the first two items were in the goodie bag two mascaras this is the gifted mascara and i think they are the same and i don't really know why i got two of them maybe it's a mistake so maybe i'm just got a lucky goodie bag but um yeah i got two mascaras but maybe one is brown and one black that could be the case but i'm not i'm um, going to open them yet because i have so many mascaras that i need to go through first so it would be a waste and then the next start item is this blush and i purchased this and this is the color fearless and this is just a stunning pinky color and the woman that sold me this blush actually was wearing it and it looked very nice on her so i'm very happy with my very first tarte blush and then from tarte as well i purchased the amazon escape volume 2 eye and cheek palette and this reminds me of a wallet actually i don't really know what i think of the packaging but wait till you see the inside i think this is a very stunning palette just you know to Oh, two blushes and eyeshadow colors and they are kind of plummy and browny so this will bring out the green in my eyes and I also got this nail file and this is by Feel Unique and it has some sparkle going on so you know this comes always in handy they also included some um, fake tattoos in the goodie bag and well there's actually a contest going on and you need to put this uh, tattoo on yourself and Instagram it and then they pick some winners and I don't really know what you actually... Oh, you can win an iPad mini. Well, it probably is UK only, so... And then I got this Proactive Face Mask and this is... I don't think this is a full size, but this is just a 
medium or small size but not really a sample and this is just you know an ordinary face mask and then this is a very nice product i already tried this as well uh, this is the what i think this brand is called ogx or something and this is just a uh, oil but you can kind of spray it into your hair so that's very nice you don't have to you don't get their greasy hands then anymore but you can just spray this oil into your hair and then and then Eiler gifted uh, the goodie bag some lashes these are the 101 natural lashes and um, well you all know I love my social eyes so I'm not so sure if I will wear this just because I want to stick to supporting social eyes because um, well Eiler is going to sell itself right and there were also fake nails in the goodie bag and they are by the brand Elegant Touch actually and I got like flamingo nails and bright pink nails and I'm not so sure what to do with these because I never really wear fake nails so you know I and might end up giving them away or something but you know and then I got another thing double like goodie bag fillers what were you thinking or maybe they had they had some leftover products and stuck it in i don't know this is by glambo tv and what it is it actually is a thing to clean your smartphone or uh, tablet and you can make a holder for your smartphone or tablet out of it so it's pretty handy and i think i'm going to give one away because i usually just sit on one smartphone or tablet at a time and now there was also a skincare brand and I have never heard of it before but it's called Liz Earl and um, they gifted, well you could pick up free products if you like uh, follow them on Instagram or something. So I did that and I ended up getting a um, face uh, cleansing cloth and this is uh, a muslin one and also a cleanser. And I think the idea is that you uh, spread this cleanser all over your face and then you use the cloth to clean it. And I actually got it in mini size as well. So, you know, <laughs> I have, uh, I can clean my face now. And then while traveling to London, since I'm from the Netherlands and I had to go all the way to England and to London to go to Beautycon, um, while traveling I stumbled across a very good deal of this Love uh, Chloe uh, perfume. This is the Eau Floral one. And um, yeah, I hardly uh, really buy perfume. I just wear like the body shop uh, body sprays. But this was just a very good deal and the packaging is so stunning and I really love the little detail going on. So prepare to see this one in Instagram shots quite a lot because it's a very, very photogenic. And then I also came across this traveling set by Rimmel and it included three of their Apocalypse uh, lip lacquers. And um, I paid only for like one and a half lip lacquer. So I was like, that's a pretty good deal. I always wanted to try them out. Let's give it a go. So I got, um, so the set includes Big Bang and Nude Eclipse and Apocalyptic. Just a, you know, a basic red, nude and pink. So um, yeah, I was very excited for this. But I thought that maybe it were like mini versions. So I was very excited that when I opened it, they were just full size. So I think I might review them on my blog or something. Oh, I just dropped one. <laughs> As I was saying, I think I might review them on my blog or something. And then I got uh, something as well. I didn't buy it in London at all. I bought it um, the day before I left, but uh, I wanted to include it in this video as well. And that is the famous night via men aftershave balm it's supposed to be a good makeup uh, primer and i've used it today for the very first time and my skin kind of feels nice so i'll keep you updated on this one maybe i make a review video when i fully tested it but yeah i also got this one and the lipstick that i'm wearing is velvet teddy by mac and that's also a new lipstick so that's about it uh, all my new stuff i I, I'm really going to force myself not to buy any more makeup soon because you know I have a lot of new things to play with 
and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed the footage that I took uh, in London and at Beautycon and um, yeah let me know if you have any questions at all about Beautycon or want to have a review of one of the products that was uh, in the goodie bag or something like that so um, yeah the one thing that left to say is that I'm so excited that I got to meet Carissa uh, she is so lovely she is such a lovely person and um, we quite had a very long chat and um, <laughs> and even the security lady they came to me and, and uh, Atessa and she said well um, you know you need to keep moving because there was uh, such a long line <laughs> behind us but you know we Carissa kept talking and um, she also said that the packaging lady of her social eyes uh, company uh, knows my name because I ordered that often and I was like oh god <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing at the same time but uh, it's also a funny story. So thank you guys for watching and have a lovely day and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye bye!